work fucking harder. Fuck motivation and fuck inspiration. You need discipline, and only from discipline will you ever achieve mastery. You must push yourself. No one else can do it for you. When was the last time you fucking went for it? Don't hang out with fucking idiots. Stop trying to fucking please everyone. Take good care of your fucking body. Stop doing the same fucking things over and over again, hoping for a change. Get the fuck up and fucking go after what you fucking want. Nobody wants to tell you why discipline is so important. Discipline is the strongest form of self-love. It is ignoring current pleasures for bigger rewards to come. It's loving yourself enough to give yourself everything you've ever wanted. Blah, blah, blah. Nobody cares about your excuses. Excuses are for weaklings, and that ain't you. You're better than that. Get back to work and get it done. You don't have to be motivated every day. Motivation comes and goes. What you need is to be disciplined. Discipline will take you farther than motivation ever will. Motivation comes from the natural drive to achieve something. Motivation doesn't last forever, no matter how much you want something. It's a temporary effect created by the brain to boost you in the right direction. Discipline is the ability to continue pushing in the right direction when you no longer have motivation doing it for you. Discipline is far more important than motivation and you should never rely on motivation only. Self-discipline is the ability to do what you should do when you should do it whether you feel like it or not. You want to succeed? Don't rely on motivation. Rely on self-discipline. When you are pursuing your goals and things start to go your way, it is not a sign for you to take your foot off the gas. It's a sign for you to push even harder. Keep up the momentum and don't slow down. Up the gear and increase the work rate. With unwavering dedication and daily focus on your goals, the seemingly impossible becomes achievable. You don't achieve greatness with casual effort. Challenge yourself and go all in. Motivation is fleeting. It is the friend that deserts you when you need them most. Its absence is the reason you stay in bed in the morning after you said, tomorrow. It is fickle, affected by weather, affected by emotion, and affected by pain. There is no truth in it. Determination is truth. It is not kind. It will not ease your pain. It is the one to drag you to the door and kick you outside and does not care how you feel. But it is honest. It does not feed you with the lies of try, might, and can. It tells you the truth. There is only action and moving forward. We live in an age of dopamine hits. Social media likes, instant messaging, and the constant barrage of notifications that keep us hooked and hungry for more. This has created a culture that expects immediate results and devalues the slow, steady grind of true accomplishment. But I want to assure you, my friends, that lasting achievements are not built overnight. They are the culmination of weeks, months, and years of perseverance. They are the product of blood, sweat, and tears. Perseverance is not a trendy buzzword. It is the bedrock of success. It is the unyielding spirit that pushes you forward even when you are tired, discouraged, and ready to give up. It is the inner fire that keeps you focused on your goals even when the world seems to be against you. Think of a mountain climber. They don't reach the summit by accident. They reach it by taking one step at a time, through blizzards and scorching sun, until they finally plant their flag on the top. Likewise, your journey to success will be filled with obstacles and challenges. There will be times when you doubt yourself, when you want to quit. But it is in those moments that your perseverance will be tested. It is in those moments that you must dig deep and find the strength to keep going. We live in a culture that celebrates instant gratification. We want everything now and we want it with minimal effort. But true satisfaction comes from delayed gratification. It comes from putting in the hard work and seeing the fruits of your labor over time. Think of a seed planted in the ground. It doesn't sprout into a tree overnight. It takes time, sunshine, water, and nutrients. But eventually, with patience and care, it will grow into a magnificent symbol of life 
and resilience. You call yourselves entrepreneurs? You think you can just dream up some pie-in-the-sky idea and call it a goal? You think success just falls into your lap like a ripe mango? Wrong! A goal without a plan is a nightmare. It's a blurry mess that leads to wasted time, lost money, and shattered dreams. Do you want to be like those fools who wander through life without direction, chasing their tails like a dog in a circle? No, of course you don't. You want to be a winner, a conqueror, a titan of industry. But that takes more than just wishing and hoping. It takes a plan, a roadmap to success as detailed as the blueprints of a skyscraper. Your plan needs to be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. It needs to be written down, clear as day, so you can't hide from the hard work it takes. It needs to be reviewed regularly, tweaked and refined like a fine piece of machinery. Do you think Bill Gates woke up one morning and said, Hey, I think I'll start a little software company. Do you think Warren Buffett just stumbled upon his billions by accident? No. They had plans, detailed, meticulous plans that they followed religiously. You there, with the glazed over eyes. Do you have a plan? Do you know what your goals are? Can you recite them to me right now, exactly? You're a walking nightmare, a ship lost at sea without a rudder. You're destined for failure unless you wake up and take control. But it's not too late. You can still turn your life around. Start by writing down your goals, every single one of them. Then, for each goal, create a detailed plan, a step-by-step -step guide to achieving it. Set deadlines, hold yourself accountable, and never, ever give up. You need to stop playing small. We all have the potential for greatness, but most of us are afraid to reach for the stars. We set our goals too low, and as a result, we settle for mediocrity. If you set your goals ridiculously high, you will push yourself to limits you never knew you had. You will learn and grow in ways that you never thought possible. And even if you don't reach your ultimate goal, you will still be miles ahead of everyone who didn't even dare to dream. Think about it. Michael Jordan didn't become the greatest basketball player of all time by setting his sights on being pretty good. Nelson Mandela didn't end apartheid in South Africa by aiming for a little bit of progress. Malala Yousafzai didn't become a global advocate for girls' education by wanting to just go to school. These people, and countless others like them, achieved amazing things because they set their goals ridiculously high. They were willing to risk failure, they were willing to push themselves beyond their comfort zones, and they were willing to dream big. And guess what? You can do the same thing. So today, I challenge you to set your goals ridiculously high. Don't be afraid to dream big. Don't be afraid to fail. Because even if you fall short, you will still land on your feet, stronger and wiser than before. Remember, the only way to achieve the impossible is to first believe that it is possible. So believe in yourself, set your goals ridiculously high, and go out there and change the world.